hello everyone in this video i am going to discuss about construction and working of michelson's interferometer okay now let us see construction of michelson's interferometer here it consists of a monochromatic light source then next to it a lens is placed then a beam splitter which is semi silvered at the bottom of the glass plate then and also it is placed at an angle of 45 degree and next to it a compensating glass plate is placed which is also kept at an angle of 45 degree and next to it a plane mirror is placed which is fixed then here another plane mirror is used which is movable that is we can move this plane mirror and below beam splitter a telescope is placed to observe interference pattern this is about construction of the michelson interferometer okay now let us see working of the michelson interferometer here from monochromatic source a light waves incident on lens after incidenting on lens this light waves here we are going to observe a parallel beam of light waves this parallel beam of light wave incident on top surface of the glass plate and again here we observe that this light wave gets refracted and again when this light incident on the lower surface of the glass plate that is which is semi silvered glass plate here some part of the light gets ref reflected and some part of the light gets refracted it is the beam splitter it, it splits incident light wave into two parts here amplitude is reduced okay then after incidenting after splitting the light waves incident on the mirrors that is this light wave moves towards the movable plane mirror and here this light wave incident on the compensating glass plate and it suffers refraction and then again it incident on the another plane mirror which is fixed and here after incidenting on plane mirrors here the light waves again traces its original path and again it same it gets refracted then this light wave incident on the lower surface of the beam splitter and here also same the incident light wave on a movable plane mirror is again retraces its path and incident on the lower surface of the beam splitter here again these two waves reaches the telescope and these two waves superpose and form a interference pattern this is working of the michelson's interferometer okay now let us define michelson interferometer that is it is the amplitude that is the amplitude of the light beam from an extended source is divided into two parts of equal intensities by partial reflections and refractions that is here the incident light beam is split into two equal parts by partial reflection and refraction and these beams are sent in two directions 
and are brought together after reflection from the plane mirrors that is here after reflection it incident on the plane mirror it, it is also incident on the plane mirror again it gets reflected and these two beams are brought together to form the interference pattern and we observe this interference pattern in the telescope.